are marking Hispanic Heritage Month. It runs from September 15th to October 15th. Yeah, the dates are set aside to honor the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors came from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central America. Each week, we are going to spotlight those contributions, and tonight, Color 10's Melanie Chapman finds some incredible stories from a festival in Monet. This is a day Adela Garcia never imagined she'd see. Three decades ago, Adele and her family moved from Mexico to the U.S. with a vision of working hard and achieving the American dream. Their journey began in California and brought them to Monet for work and a better life. But the first time was uh, real hard for us because nobody speaks any Spanish. They were one of the first Hispanic immigrant families to move to the area 28 years ago. Most came for factory work. Adela shares a terrible experience that still brings her to tears when she took her kids to get haircuts. They see us going to into that shop. Uh, people stand up and they run to get their purses. Um, and I feel so bad. And I told my grandkids, <laughs> I never will be back here. <laughs> yeah, but I understand because there are bad and good people, you know. A better life for their family was to come. More families like them. First days of school, rejoicing in their first snowfall, and eventually getting their U.S. citizenship in Missouri. This is where their future would begin, and the dreams could become reality. We've always had an influx of Vietnamese, Chinese, uh, Filipinos, and more recently the Hispanic group, which has been uh, by far the largest we've had in the past uh, generation. Professor Mark McNeely of Valencia College in Florida was born and raised in Monet and dedicates much of his time preserving immigrant history, particularly in Barry and Lawrence counties. According to the census statistics right now, about 20% of Monet is Hispanic, about 20, 25% of Barry County is. Um, that reflects a little bit of immigration into neighboring counties as well, especially McDonald County in southwest Missouri. There's very heavy immigration there as well. Guadalupe Castor has lived in Monet 11 years and wanted her grandchildren to experience this celebration. So they can see and be an experience for them, for the culture and stuff, because we don't see this every day. So they see that it's not something bad, that we're not here to do something bad, but it's also something positive for the community. The festival here is not only about celebrating the culture, food, music, dancing, it's also about offering opportunities and furthering one's education. They're, they're involved with, you know, our community also, but they're here trying to help the kids, you know, do something better for themselves. Adela says she worked passionately over the years to build a bridge between Hispanics and Americans. And today, Hispanics in Monet and surrounding areas don't only work in the service industry, they own businesses and offer jobs and services. Adela is so grateful this day has come. No one grabs their purses and wallets when you enter a room anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Adela and her husband raised professional children, a mechanical engineer, a graphic designer, and a physical therapist. Their vision of the American dream became reality. In Monette, Melanie Chapman.